Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fulgurn Gaming's Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. This is actually really cool because I need to get mystery goose from these guys, and if you know what mystery goose are used for, you will probably know what this episode is going to be about. I am going for Ultima Weapon in this episode. Now the blue mushrooms, let me pause while I explain, because if you don't mess with them fast enough, they'll actually disappear. But blue mushrooms, or blue, or rare truffles, I believe they're called, you have to hit them up in the air with your keyblade. 100 times actually to kill them but every 10 i think if you hit them up in the air 10 times 50 times and 100 times each time you hit one of those milestones you get an option or you get a an opportunity to get a mystery goo which i need five or six of i need six of them actually so let me go ahead and try and hit one of these up in the air 100 times in a row Alright, so that one didn't work out so well, but at least we have one here to try on. I cannot believe I just did that. I was so, like, my hands are so sweaty right now. I can't believe it. That might sound kind of gross, but we got how many mystery goos is that already? Four mystery goos. I only need two more. I can't believe that. But also, I got the Matsutake rank and the Shiitake rank, which is actually kind of funny. I guess those are two types of mushrooms. But those are proof that we bopped the rare truffles into the air 100 times and 50 times. I am honestly astounded that I was able to do that that quickly. Whoo, man. All right, so now that the excitement is over, it is, at, you know, down to some grinding, basically, because I need to go back in here a couple of times until I can get six more gales. I need a total of nine gales, and I have three right now, so let me go ahead and speed this up until I get the required number of gales. Oh, I thought it was going to be a gale right off the bat. All right, guys, I have got the required number of gales right here, and I only need two more mystery goos, but I'm actually not going to get those in this area. I'm probably going to do those. I kind of need to explain the white mushroom situation, so I'll probably do that in the deep jungle, which usually has a pretty high concentration of, you know, white mushrooms. And by the way, I'm going back to Neverland right now for one reason, really. And that is to get that treasure chest that I left there probably five or ten episodes back. And as far as I know, that is actually the final treasure chest that's just laying around in the entire game. I hesitate to say that, but I really cannot remember, or I can't think of any other treasure chests that I might have left anywhere. And also, I kind of wanted to say I can't remember if I explained this before or not, but as far as the synthesis items, I will put in the description a list of all the synthesis items in the entire game and how many you need to synthesize everything in the entire game and a location where you can find the enemy that drops it or whatever and I'm not gonna show every synthesis item in this episode I'm just gonna show the items obviously that I need because I would take absolutely forever to get the items that I already have but here is that treasure chest hopefully we'll be able to open it this time fortunately we are we finally got that dispel G which like I said I think might just be the final treasure chest in the entire game now I need to get us back to Traverse Town so we can talk to the Dalmatians. And here we are back in the Dalmatians' house, obviously in Traverse Town, but it has been a while since we've been here. And hey, that's a pretty nice bassinet on the wall back there. But not only are we going to be getting items this time, we're going to be getting kind of a cool little cutscene type of thing, probably right now.
I always thought the song that played during that was always pretty cool, don't know what it is though. But from the dogs here, we get a ribbon, an upgrade to our wind spell, or you know, an upgrade to the arrow spell, which is now Araga, and the complete gummy ship collection, which is what I've been hinting at for a while now, and why I was disappointed at getting all of those gummy ship pieces out of End of the World, because, you know, literally right after you leave, you can go get... Actually, you know what's funny, is you can do this, this is actually, I've talked about this before, you can get the entire gummy ship piece before you even go to the end of the world, so that's even less of a reason for there to be gummy ship pieces there. But I guess now, guys, I'm gonna go to Deep Jungle, because there are a lot of synthesis items we can get there, and also, it'll be a pretty good opportunity for me to explain the Bambi summon, and you guys probably weren't expecting that. Alright, now hopefully when I walk out here, there will be some white mushrooms. Uh, I cannot believe how good my luck is right now. Let me go ahead and pause so I can explain the white mushroom situation as well. To get Mystery Goose from the white mushrooms, let me go ahead and unpause and show you what happens. They will do these things on the ground like that, the emotion, I just call them, call them emotions, I don't know what, you know, what you would call them. But you have to use a certain magic spell for each one of those different things that they do. And if you wait and use the same three magic spells, or the same one magic spell three times, I mean, you will get a mystery goo and a, an arts item related to whatever spell you use. So say you use fire on him five or three times, you'll get a mystery goo and a fire arts item. I'm probably not going to get all the fire, or, you know, the arts items in this episode, but that's just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and see what he uses here. That looks like a cure spell, but I don't know if I have enough time, so I'm just going to wait. That is definitely Blizzara, so now, let me go ahead and pause and explain, because I don't want these guys to disappear. If I just wait for him to do that fanning thing two more times, it doesn't matter what he does in between, I will get a Mr. Goo for sure, and I will also get a Blizzard Arts. And there we go, we should be getting the items that I was just talking about. There we go, Frost Gem, Blizzard Arts, and oh man, he didn't drop a Mystery Goo. Apparently it's not a 100% thing that he will do that. I thought it was, but he should drop another one, or drop one if I do the same procedure over here. I'll probably start with Fyraga on this one, so I can get the Fire Arts item. Or, you know, I might as well just do Thunder. Alright, there, hopefully we get a Mystery Goo from this. We'll definitely be getting a Thunder Arts. There we go, Thunder Arts. But I did not get a Mystery Goo, so that's kind of disappointing. But the thing is, with the White Mushrooms in the Deep Jungle, if you just run through the Bamboo Thicket all the way over to the Cliffs area, I believe that's what it's called over here. Let me just go ahead and take a look. You have the Cliff area, not the Cliffs, I guess there's only one. If you come over here and go back, there will actually be an opportunity from them for them to spawn again. So if you just go one screen over, I don't think they'll spawn again. I think they will stay, nobody will spawn actually. So here they are again. Let's go ahead and see if I can try and get maybe a cure this time. I right, man, I messed up. By the way, if you try and use cure on him, you have to hit target. That's why I thought I had enough time there, but I didn't. So hopefully whatever he uses there. All right, so target, there we go. So hopefully I'll be getting a Mr. Goo from this guy. That one actually did not take that long, so please give me a Mystery Goo. Unfortunately not, but we did get a Cure Arts, so I guess that's not that bad. Now, what does this guy want over here? I want him to use Fire over here. Luckily, he is obliging very nicely. Oh, I messed up there. I don't know what I was thinking. I think Donald got in the way, and I don't know, just shifted my perspective a little bit. Luckily, there is yet another chance over here. And hopefully he will be doing the freezing animation so I can warm him up. And he was not uh, cooperative there and he went ahead and disappeared. Now I'm not sure, I'm starting to wonder if maybe you have to use the white mushrooms in End of the World to actually get mystery goos from them. I don't think that's the case. But if I end up coming back and they don't give me mystery goos, I guess that's what I'm going to have to try. But for now, let me go ahead and get us back to the treehouse area. Alright guys, we are back in the treehouse area, and let me go ahead and pause before anybody spawns. We want to go ahead and equip cheer. Yes, I know I've ripped on it in the past, but it is actually pretty useful for what I'm about to do. If we saw... 
summon, I should say, Bambi, we will actually, there should be, actually, there's no enemies out here. I think there's probably some mushrooms in here. Yep, yeah, they're in there, so I guess I get a couple more opportunities, but Bambi. I will explain, actually, I'll just go ahead and explain it when there's actually enemies and I can show you what's going on. And luckily, this white mushroom was actually nice enough to play along. And we get a fire arts, yet no mystery goo, so I guess it is kind of a mystery. But let me go ahead and get back up here. The thing that you want to know about this area is that you, if you jump off and then go back up in the way that I get back up here, they, the enemies will respawn pretty easily. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Guys, I have never seen this many white mushrooms spawn in a row, but I guess it's kind of good. I'll be getting more arts items, even though another important thing to know is that in the deep jungle, they will never do the animations for Gravira, Stopra, or Eraga. So we'll have to go probably to the end of the world for those. But I guess this is just more opportunities for Mystery Goose. And we got a mystery goo, so I guess my theory was right. And they actually do, you know, give you mystery goos even in the deep jungle. But let me go ahead and try and get back up there. And as much as I love the mushrooms, I actually don't want them to spawn this time. I am honestly at a loss for words right now, guys. I cannot believe that they keep spawning. I guess what I'm going to have to do is hope that I get another mystery goo from one of these. And then probably just leave the world and come back. Maybe that'll like reset the white mushroom spawner system. I have no idea. But let me go ahead and try this real quick again. Alright, so unfortunately we did not get a mystery goo that time. But let me go ahead and try and leave the world and come back and see if that actually fixes our problem that usually is actually a blessing, but in this case, it is actually not. There we go. Now we're starting to actually get enemies again instead of those mushrooms. But what I like to do in the deep jungle for a couple of reasons is actually come up here into the tree house because the... Bouncy Wilds will spawn Power Shards when killed, usually. And also, if we summon Bambi right now, let me go ahead and do that. Bambi has a mechanism where every time you kill an enemy, a bar will fill up. And every time the bar fills up, she'll drop an... Or he, actually, I don't know what gender Bambi is. But Bambi will drop an item. And for each world, the item chart or table that he picks from is different. For this world, we get opportunities for Thunder Gems, which I'm going to need quite a bit of. And if it turns out I'm not getting them from here, we can go back to Atlantica for those. But let me go ahead and try and get as many items as possible here. Well, I didn't get any Thunder Gems, but I did get a Power Shard. Now, from now on, I'm probably just going to cut everything out until I get 23 total Power Shards and 16 total Thunder Gems. You guys can definitely tell that there's going to have to be a lot of cutting out because if I tried to, you know, put all of this in the episode, even if I sped this up, it could probably be just 20 minutes of spent up footage here. So let me go ahead and get all of the required items. I cannot believe exactly how long that took, guys. I wish I had just, I accidentally went into the save menu here or not saving you into the gummy ship space area, and you can tell that I'm, like, out of it right now. It has been two hours since I said, oh, let me get the, you know, 16 Thunder Gems and all that. It takes absolutely forever. I had no idea it was going to take that long, or I probably would have just, like, waited until tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I have completed, you know, all of the Thunder Gems. I have 16 of them. Hopefully I don't need 18, because I do kind of remember saying that. I think I said something like... I hope there's, you know, it's not 18. There could be 18. I'll just get 18. As soon as I saw 16 pop up, I'm like, ah, I think I'm done for now. 
you know, with this. If it turns out that I do need more Thunder Gems, I'll just go back. But for right now, I'm going to go to the, you know, the deck of the ship here to get some Power Gems from the battleships i believe they're called and also the air pirates drop them so hopefully it doesn't take that long total i need 12 power gems as of right now i have none and also as soon as i get into a menu hopefully right here yeah let me go ahead and show you guys what happened i have 16 thunder gems i had i also got some frost gems because i even tried to go to atlantica i'm like why in the world am i not getting hardly any thunder gems from you know the deep jungle bambi trick I hardly got any from Atlantica either. I think I might have got one in like half an hour. So I was like, all right, let's go back to Deep Jungle. Anyway, while I was in Atlantica, I actually got some Frost Gems, which is good. Because now I have as many, I, you know, completed the Frost Gems as well. I only needed 11 total of those. I also completed the Bright Shards. Look at how many Bright Shards I got, you know, fighting, trying to get those Thunder Gems. Also, I, th I don't think I needed any more Thunder Shards than I had already. And I'm also almost done with the Shiny Crystal. So I guess it was kind of a... A win-win, you know, I'm not even sure if you could call it that, but I also completed the power crystal. So overall, I think it was a pretty good, you know, chunk of time. What it, I mean, what I'm trying to say was, it wasn't just Slender Gems, but I did, you know, get some stuff off camera. I wasn't even, like, intending to get these off camera, but that's just how it happened. And I also got that sixth mystery goo. But let me go ahead and try and get 12 of these power gems, and we'll see if we can't maybe go back to Traverse Town and wrap up the rest of these synthesis items. Luckily, that didn't take too long. The Power Gems seem to be a pretty common drop, unlike the Thunder Gems, which take, you know, apparently two hours to get. But the next place I'm going to go is actually Hollow Bastion, because here we can get... We can use Bambi. You know, Bambi I thought was going to be, like, my life savior, you know. And then he kind of let me down in the Deep Jungle, but, I mean, I guess he did speed it up a little bit. In Hollow Bastion, though, if you use Bambi, every time you fill up the, the bar you will get a lucid item and I need lucid crystals and lucid gems. I need five total lucid crystals and I need 11 total lucid gems. So I'll be doing that. And also the defenders in the area, I'm gonna go over here into the area where the keyhole was because there are defenders there and there's one here apparently, but the defenders will drop bright crystals and the wis wizards will drop shiny crystals. So there are a lot of enemies here that will drop items we need. So obviously I've been speeding everything up until now. Actually, I'm, it's too much to even speed up. I'm pretty much just cutting everything out at this point because like when you have two hours of recorded footage and it's all just like fighting and summons, that's a little bit ridiculous to put in an episode. But yeah, like I said, guys, let me go ahead and speed this up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get all of these items. And we are finally done with all of those. I finally got, I even forgot what I was in there for. It's been so long. I got shiny crystals. I got bright crystals. I got a whole lot of crystals, but we are pretty much done. Oh, and I got lucid crystals and lucid gems, I believe. But we are finally done with Hollow Bash, and as far as I know, as far as synthesis items go. And the next thing I need to do is go back to Wonderland to get frost shards. I believe I have enough frost gems. And luckily, in Wonderland, you can kill the blue Rhapsodies, you know, the blue floating blizzard spell using enemies. They drop frost shards, and you can also use Bambi to, you know, help you with that. And then I will be going, I'm just going to tell you everything else I need just so I can do it all at once. I will be getting the Blaze Gems from Agrabah. You can kill the bandits there for those. I need 11 of those. I need 9 total frost shards, and then I will be going back to Traverse Town for the bright gems, which should be the final item I need. So I will meet you guys in Traverse Town after I have every item, you know, that I need. Guys, I believe I have finally done it. Hopefully my math has not failed me. I believe I have everything that I need to synthesize ultimate Ultima Weapon. I'm losing my mind already. Look at how many synthesis items we have right now i mean we have 99 bright shards i believe we have 99 like yeah spirit shards i even got 99 high potions and 99 ethers from grinding for all of these items i think it is just about time to go ahead and synthesize all of this the good thing is it's not even just ultima weapon it's a whole bunch of other stuff as well Cottage, Elixir, Energy Bangle, Power Chain, Guardian Ring, and Dark Ring. Apparently I already did that. I remember in the last episode I said, I don't remember if I did Dark Ring or not. Apparently I did. Those aren't even good items compared to what we're about to get.
And guys, here we go. I believe this is going to work. Ultima weapon. We have just about enough of everything. I have a few extra lucid gems. That felt so good. I cannot even explain how good that felt, honestly. L I mean, not. I was gonna say, luckily, we can't uh, synthesize it again. I was. I was going to say that you can only synthesize Ultima weapon one time. But pretty much everything else, you can synthesize as many times as you want. And I will probably be coming back and outfitting everybody with crystal crowns and ribbons. But I'm not. I think I like crystal crowns more. But I'm not entirely sure. As for right now, though, guys, I think I have had just about enough. It has been several hours since the episode started, but I bet you it's not even going to be over 25 minutes of episode time. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. I almost didn't even, you know, equip Ultima Weapon. There we go, guys. Ultima Weapon is equipped, and I cannot wait to see you guys back for the next episode. I think we're probably going to be going to the Olympus Coliseum, and, you know, with Ultima Weapon... And considering the fact that we're level 73 now instead of level 49 when the episode started, I think we're going to have, you know, not have that hard of a time. So for the final time, I want to thank you for watching this episode, and I can't wait to see you guys back for the next one.